What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm out here in the shop this afternoon and I want to do a drawbar pull test on my Mahindra 8560 here with no implement. It will be locked in four-wheel drive. It does have a front-end loader on it and there is water in the tires. Um, I want to do this test on dirt and on concrete. Now obviously being tractor tires probably going to get better results on dirt but we're going to do a test just to find out. I have behind me here a load cell that we're going to hook up in a minute and I'm going to hook it onto the draw bar on the back of the tractor here and I'm going to anchor the tractor probably to my 18 wheeler out there. Um, that's the only thing I have that uh, this tractor won't pull. So I'm going to anchor onto my 18 wheeler and hook this load cell that we have right here in the box. That's the monitor for it over there. This is a 20,000 pound uh, load cell. I'll put a link in the description if anybody's interested in this. Um, so anyway, we're going to get this hooked up and I'm going to hook it to my 18 wheeler and I'm going to try it on concrete and I'm going to try it in the dirt out there and see what kind of measurements we get. I will set the uh, monitor here if I can figure out how. I've never actually used the, uh, the hole feature, but if I can figure out how to set it to peak hold and uh, set up the camera so that we can see um, how much force that uh, this tractor will generate. So this should be interesting because I'm not quite sure what to expect. I got an idea, but not really. So uh, anyway, we'll get this test set up and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I've got the test set up for the concrete pool. I've got the tractor in the shop here. I've got it chained to the DOT bumper on the back of my 18 wheeler flatbed here. This is a steel flatbed. I pulled on that bumper before and that bumper is a lot more solid than what most of them are. So should be no issues there. I've got the load cell hooked with a uh, clevis here, a shackle, and I've got it so that there will be no, no damage occur to the wire right there. I've got the uh, monitor up there zeroed out. Everything's ready to go. I'm going to lock it in four-wheel drive and see what we get here on the concrete. I'm actually going to let the tires turn over for a little bit to see if uh, the traction gets a little better because of some sand and stuff on the floor there. And I want them to turn over at least a round or two to uh, kind of clean the uh, sand off the tires to see if we get a little better result. So I'm going to set you guys up over here and we'll get started with a test. guys I got you hooked on the front of the uh, semi here I could not get that uh, load cell to read in the uh, hole position I don't know what I'm doing wrong I tried to look through the manual yeah I couldn't really figure it out so I don't know I'm gonna just have to let the tire spin for a second and just kind of let uh, let the camera focus on it and kind of get a reading that way uh, so it's gonna fluctuate just a little bit with the tires turning over uh, I'm only going to do it this in four-wheel drive on this test here versus on the concrete. I did it in four-wheel then two-wheel uh, just because of the fact I don't want to really dig my yard up no more than I have to. So I'm going to try to do this test without the tires spinning no more than they have to. Um, we'll see what kind of numbers we get. So hang tight.
you guys. So here's the uh, shop floor. I kind of let them tires turn over and get the sand off. You can see they were, it was cleaning the floor up a little bit and we were getting a little over 6,000 pounds with all four of them locked in um, and about 8,500 with the, uh, in the dirt out there. And that's kind of what I expected as well. Uh, you know, tractor tires are made for the dirt, not made for concrete. Uh, so we get a lot higher pull strength, pull force uh, in the dirt where they're supposed to be. Who would have thought? Anyway, um, I don't know why I can't get the whole function to work on that uh, load cell. It's probably something I'm doing wrong, but uh, I don't know what it is. When you mash the whole button, the light comes on, but it stays at zero. When you put tension on the, uh, on the load cell, like it doesn't read anything. And then when you remove the whole button, then it just works like it normally would. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. If there's a setting that I have to go into in a calibration or something like that, I'm not sure. Um, if anybody has one of these and can give me some ideas, leave it in the comments. Um, other than that, successful test. Kind of about what I figured. I, I really thought the tractor may would pull a little, a little bit more. Of course, the more weight you add on it, uh, the higher that number is going to be. And uh, so it'd be a little bit higher if I had, uh, you know, an attachment on the back or if I got a bucket full of dirt or something like that. But uh, anyway, I got to go out here and fix these holes in my yard before they uh, fill up with water and all that good stuff and it just becomes a mess and have a mud hole. So I'm going to do that and wrap this video up. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.